right, let's rig this son of a gun. Now, in the context of computer graphics and animation, a rig is a digital setup used to control the movement and behavior of 3D objects in 3D space. That's it. It's, it's an essential component in the process of animating characters. Okay, so let's make it. Now, the good folks at Rigify have hooked us up. So make, uh, make sure you have Rigify enabled. Blender comes loaded with Rigify. All you have to do is enable it. And you do that um, in the add-ons section of the preferences menu. So just hit shift A and then go and hit armature right here. Scroll down to shark. Look at that. The good folks at Rigify have given us a shark meta rig. I think it'd be rude not to use it. Okay. Before we go any further, let's turn uh, symmetry on. X button up here, right here. So now this, this preserves symmetry on the X axis um so when we move the this fin well let me just i think an example is probably just you move one the other one moves as well okay so we don't have to do each fin separately we're working smarter not harder okay now let's grab our armature bring it down and then i'll grab these and bring them up to create that dorsal fin and now all we're doing is uh kind of a paint by number I'm going to grab these and uh, I'm just hitting G to grab. If you think it's a little too stretched out, you can right click and subdivide and you can add more geometry in there. That's no problem. I'm going to grab this second dorsal fin like that. They gave us uh, an anal fin as well. We'll bring that back along the Y. We've got a pelvic fin right here. That was nice of them. We've got a shoulder girdle and a pectoral fin. And then here, you know, I've seen these in too many places um, and it's never the same. So I'm just going to align the bottom jaw with the bottom jaw. I've seen this point all the way at the nose. Um, I'm not going to model mine that way. I'm just going to have mine be uh, the top jaw here. So this will be the top jaw and the bottom jaw. Okay. And now I'm going to hit numpad seven and we'll extend these out we'll get this pelvic fin and then this eyeball right here we'll scale that like that bring that up and over and align that there okay so now let's select our model shift click to select our armature and Hit Control P. And we're going to parent that with automatic weights. Okay. And I'm going to come down here and let's generate the rig and see what happens. It's massive. And do you know why? Because we didn't apply the transforms. Okay. So we have our rig selected. Let's Control A, apply all transforms. Now that we've done that, let's regenerate our rig. And there we go. Okay. So if you jump into edit mode, you're not going to see anything happen. But if you jump into pose mode, you should. There we go. Okay. All right. So that's all well and good. Let's everybody save your work as a checkpoint. And but you saw what just happened right there. So if we're going to rotate this down, look, the gums are right there. We're going to have to do something called weight painting. All right. And it's you're going to have to learn how to do this anyway. So you might as well learn and do it today. Because especially if you want to use your assets in a game engine, you have to use weight painting and weight painting is just a very granular way of controlling uh, what part of your rig you want controlling which part of your mesh and click your armature and then shift click Bob and you can come up here and you'll have the weight paint option. So it's, it's a little, it's not the easiest thing to get to. You're going to see blue everywhere. Okay. Now, if you click and drag, you're selecting the area of geometry you want to assign to that bone. So control Z out of that. And let's, let's do, here's a real live example. Okay. So come down here uh, to the green triangle. This is the data properties. Okay. And here's all of our bones right here. These are all of the bones in our, in our great fish. Okay. And if you click on one, you can see it light up. Okay. So this is letting you know, and wherever it's lit up, that is the part of our model that's going to move that is controlled by this specific bone. 
Okay. So with uh, Jaw Master, I'm just going to draw. Okay. So if we jump into pose mode. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Now that's excellent, but you can see that uh, we leave the gums and the teeth behind. All right. Now what we have to do is weight paint them to the rig. Okay. That's, it's really the only way we can attach them and weight painting is, well, you were going to have to learn how to do it anyway. So it might as well be today. Let's just, let's just start. Um, it's easier. It's easier to show you than to tell you. That's just, it's kind of a foreign concept. Once you see it, you're like, oh, okay, I get it. All right, so first let's jump back into object mode and I'm going to attach the gums. So select our upper gum and then our rig and parent that with automatic weights. Okay, now let's select the rig and then the upper gum and go see those weights. So go into weight paint and then you can see that's that's blue. So I'm going to make Bob uh, see through in wireframe mode. So now you can see this this is weight paint. We're in the weight paint arena. All right. Now if I paint on this, it changes the color. And what I've done, because I have chest fin bot R right here selected, this is a bone right here. All these are different bones in my armature and where it's red, whichever bone is selected, the red part is going to be uh, completely controlled by that bone. And the blue part is, is not at all. So right now we have to pick which bone we want to parent the top of our gums to. And then we're going to paint in red on that specific bone. And that's weight painting. Okay. So we've got the upper gum selected and we want to figure out which where we want it to be so i'm going to say that this top bone right here uh what do we got spine 007 nice this is the james bond bone object gum weight paint and i'm gonna hide bomb again and then come over here and find it find spine 007 so that's this one And then if you want to go upside down, control seven, same thing. So now what I, I just let blender know that this bone really controls this upper gum. If that worked, so if we select our bone and rotate over the X axis, look at that, the gums here. So now it's moving with our head. All right, let's do the eye. So with the eye shift click and set parent with automatic weights and then select the eye bone shift click the eye and jump into weight pain now let's find the eye and just make sure yep okay so my my eye is completely red make sure yours is two and then click the r all right so the eyes are good to go next let's get the bottom gum and let's parent the bottom gum with automatic weights. Then let's select the rig, shift click the bottom gum and jump into weight painting. We're probably gonna want this to be jaw master. No influence from any other. All I'm doing is checking. I just wanna make sure there's no other influence from any other, right? See, so spine six back here influences this a little bit. I don't want that at all. So I'm gonna get rid of it just like that. Okay, get rid, just don't need, the eyes don't need to affect the bottom gums. Okay, here, jaw master. This is exactly what I'm looking to hit. And I want the jaw master to affect this whole thing. Okay, so paint it red. With our armature selected in pose mode, let's see what happens when we rotate X down. Okay, nice. Okay, now you can see uh, the top, the top gum is also influenced by the bottom gum, right? See right, see right there, and we don't want that at all. So let's go select our rig, shift click, select the gum, and now let's do the exact same thing. Get rid of all these bones here. 
until you just have the one you want controlling the thing you want, okay? Now, if we go into pose mode, if we rotate up here, okay, our bone moves. Yep, we got a, we got a problem right here, we'll fix that. Okay, but now if we rotate this one, you can see our top gum stays the same, whereas before, it was all over the place. Okay, now, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through each tooth and do the exact same thing, okay? I wanna attach my top row of teeth to this spine right here, which is spine 007, and I want to attach my bottom row teeth to the master jaw, okay? And you know exactly how to do that, right? We've already done it, we did it for the eyes, we did it for the shark, we did it for both sets of gums. You know exactly what to do. So uh, click the tooth, shift click the rig, control P to parent with automatic weights, select the rig, shift click the tooth, jump up to weight paint mode, and delete everything that is not spine 007, okay? And now with spine 007, we're gonna select this whole, we're gonna just paint the whole thing. Okay, next tooth, shift click, control P, parent with automatic weights, rig, shift click, the tooth, weight paint, and now just get rid of all this. And now let's paint, okay? Okay, next tooth, shift click, control P with automatic weights, rig, shift click, go to weight painting. Delete everything that isn't the 007 spine. Remember, repetition is the mother of skill. All right, now let's come up here so we can see it. Shift click. Control P, parent with automatic weights, rig, tooth, shift click, weight paint, get rid of all these vertex groups. Okay, if that worked, we should be able to take this bone and rotate it. All right, so that works going up. Now we do the exact same thing with the bottom teeth. Okay, so you already know how to attach these teeth to this rig. You know how to do this. If you've gotten this far, you can now repeat the steps that we were just doing for both of the gums and do it for the teeth. Okay, so pause the video, take your time, you can do this. I believe in you. Okay? And when you're done, come back to the video. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's, that's how you rig um, a shark and well, really a shark's mouth um, and get everything in there. Now, we, we have one glaring error. We got a set of constraint right there. So we'll fix that. But uh, by and large, this is, this is good and fun. Um, <laughs> well done uh, and that's that's what weight painting is and why it's important so um, if you got this far I'd say get up get a bend get a stretch and uh, we will see you um, in the next one we're gonna pose this um, and then we'll we'll animate it we'll get a moving we'll get Bob swimming swimming in the ocean so get up get a bend get a stretch and we'll see you in the next one